Hi, good day. My name is Maurice. I'm a five medical student, and this is part two of the gynecological and obstetric rotation where I'll be doing a gynecological exam on this particular mannequin. So we'll be looking for a fibroid or a mass which is about 20 weeks. Okay, so you start with the introduction. You say, Hi, good day. My name is Maurice. I'm a five medical student. I'm here to do an exam an examination on the abdomen. Can I get your name and age, please? Ms. Pillow, age 24. Nice to meet you. Is it okay to start? Anytime during the exam, if you feel uncomfortable or in any pain, you can tell me how to stop. So we need adequate exposure for Ms. Pillow. So usually it's from nipples to knees, but with this particular patient, we will address. So, general observation, we have Ms. Pillow resting comfortably. Uh, she's in no signs of cardiopulmonary distress. She has no surgical signs. She does have an uh, uh, observable mass in a super pubic region. And so let's begin. So we we'll start with the abdomen. So are you in any pain, Ms. Pillow? So you go down low and you watch the patient. We palpate for the four, four quadrants of the wall. Okay, and then we go deeper. Okay. So this pillow does have a palpable mass in a superpubic region. It's located between the umbilicus and the pubic symphysis. The, the mass is about 20 by 20 elongated mass. It is smooth. To the touch, there's no skin changes, it's not postulated, it's solid, mobile, non tender mass with well defined borders, it is not compressible, it has no fluctuance, and it's not reducible. I will check for translucent mass, the mass is not translucent. So, as part of the examination, I will also look for any kind of organomegaly. So, look for here, take a deep breath in, out, out, out. So, the liver edge isn't palpable. That's a patient turn. The splenic edge is also not palpable, so there's no sign of it. Hepatosplenomegaly. Patient finger there. Right. So it's within, so within tolerance. And also ask the patient to do a fluid drill. It's ask the patient to put a finger here. And I'll gently flick. Do a fluid drill. And then I'll ask the patient to roll. And then I'll procrast to see if there's any shift in this. So, after this particular examination and describing the superficial markings of the mass, I would like to do a bimanual exa vaginal examination where I look at the external genital genitalia and then palpate using one hand which would do cervical excitation and also move the uterus and the adrenal adnexal organs. So this will determine if it is peritoneal or if it's actually part of the reproductive system. And then to follow up, I'll do a DRE. So I want to thank you, Ms. Pillow, and I'll come back up. So we have Ms. Pillow, a 24-year-old, who is resting comfortably. She has a observable and palpable suprapubic mass, which is about the size of a 20 by 20 centimeter. Um, it is non-tender, slightly mobile, solid mass, which is non-compressible, non-pulsatile, non-translucent. Um, again, I would like to do a, a bimanual vaginal exam to determine if it's part of the female reproductive system or if it's peritoneal in nature. Thank you.